Hey guys, what's up? It is Sunday the 23rd, and I think this is the last day of the Tour de Fleece, which I have been spinning for. Um, as usual, you never have stuff ready when you start your videos, but hey, it is what it is. So, alright, first I'm going to start with a couple of acquisitions. So I went to the, the Michaels in Chesapeake here. It moved to a larger location, which used to be, um, I think it was an office depot. So that's where they moved to. And so they had some of the um, seven ounce carrot cakes marked down to $4 and some change. So I got two of those. To make, uh, of course, Irish all from. And then they had these. But they didn't have the big version of it. And um, so these are $3.99, I believe, or $4.99. And I got two of these. I can't read right now. I got my um, contacts in. I'm, I don't know how to do it with the reading glasses. So I'm kind of in the middle of a vision shift. And um, I think it's, it's not a diabetes issue. I think it's just like a stress It'll just like dealing with this heat and stuff around here issues. So hopefully it shift back soon. So in the meantime, so I can see I'm wearing contacts. That um, temporary contacts. And if my vision stays like this, then I have to order more. With the with the reading glasses. I mean, they're green, so they, I should be able to see them quite easily. They're somewhere around here. So, so I got two of those. And those colors, when it first flashes up, it's like I gotta get used to. Um, I'm probably gonna start putting my camera back over here because I just cannot get used to that camera being up there. So I got two of those. And then on the um, reduction rack, they had this skein of yarn for a dollar ninety nine. So it's a gray. I always use gray for stuff. So yeah. So now let's get to the spinning. I've been doing a lot of spinning for Tour de Fleece. So right now I'm plying um the yarn I spun because today is the last day so I'm trying to get everything plied up. So uh this Bobbin is the one I'm plying right now. God, I wish I could find my freaking reading glasses, y'all. Um, just to drive me crazy because they should be like, you know, easy to get to. So, this is the one I'm plying right now. And the color is more of a, a purpley mauve. That's kind of the color. It's not quite the color, but. It's real pretty. And this one I think is Falkland. So this one is Falkland. Okay. So as I finish plying them, I'm putting them back in the bag that the fiber was in so that the label's in there until I can um, get the landscape um, ribbon, get it written on and tied to it. And then I can wash it and I have to worry about losing information on that particular um, skein. So I have, I finished spinning the pound of Cordell. And so there's five bobbins of the Cordell. It was more than a pound. Um, each of these bobbins can hold about four ounces. I can get about four ounces on it. So I think it was actually more like a pound and a half of fiber. So once I get all these plied, I'm going to um, weigh the weigh the fiber and see how much I actually had. Uh, Cause it's all it's all up there. There is no waste. I'm very nicely prepared fiber. And once I get all this plot, I'm gonna dye this. Uh, and some greens and blues, or I might dye it a different color. Um, I might do some golds and red. It's like in blues. It's about to become my Wonder Woman shawl. I want to make that Wonder Woman shawl. Everybody's going to make it. So, 
that's the stuff that I haven't applied yet. So this bag has the stuff that I have applied. And this is that mauve one again. It looks brown in the bag, but it's not. It's the same colorway as the one I'm applying right now. And I think this one, some of it was Romney and some of it was Falkland. This one was Falkland. This is, um, it's a lighter yellow. I mean, it's, it's a yellowy cream color. And this one was Falkland. This one is Romney. It's that purple mauve again. I really like the way that colorway came out. And the funny thing was, the colorway was actually from coffee. From the dye called coffee. Um, but it's, it pulled purple on the fiber. Pulled this, this purpley color on the fiber. It wasn't the brown that I thought it was going to be. So I'm wondering, because that's the, to, I'm wondering if it was mislabeled. Uh, yeah, there were several, the reason I split it all up, because it's, this one was had more whites in it. But it's also still that coffee. And so I wanted to make, um, probably do some kind of project with it, since there were so many. And then there's this one, and all of these are four to four and a half, five ounce. Um, bundles of fiber that I spun. And these are the last two. These are Azula yarns. And so these are were the last two Azula fibers that I spun up. Well, that's pretty good. So, so yeah, I've been busy. So these are four ounces. And all these are for, so total poundage is going to be somewhere between 3.9 to 4 point some pounds that I spun up for Tour de Fleece. So, I, I, I'm, I could have done more, but I work full time, so that's eight hours a day I can't spend. And then also sometimes when I get home, I'm tired, so I don't I'll spend and I fall asleep in my chair. And my chair is very comfortable, so you know, hey, it is what it is. So those are the things that I'm spinning that I spun, and these are the things I finished. All the dishcloths, um, not dishcloths, the uh, pot holders. So I finished all the pot holders. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's nine that I still have because I gave two away. So I still got nine of them. And I still have this much of the burnet cotton left. So, I probably got enough to make maybe four, four or five more pot holders. These are going to go into my Christmas um, gift set. So, I mean, it was, we had did like this uh, swap thing at my friend Carver's house. And so, there was two full skeins of that and a, and a bowl of it. So, I've made this cross with all that stuff and that's the last of it. Um, so yeah, so I'm real happy that, that I'm getting through that. And I'm using the leftovers, eyes and ends from sewing everything together. I use those to tie off the, the yarn that I'm, that I'm spinning. So, alright, so then I finally, I finished the last bar shawl I was working on from the Knit Picks. Um, and I think the colorway was persimmon or something. The Knit Picks, this is acrylic from Knit Picks. And then the border is done with Hobby Lobby's yarn. So this one, this fire shawl is finished. Yep. So I need to hang it up and take a picture of it for Instagram. So yeah, so that's finished. And then, um, I finished the little kitty hat. There's two of them and the little socks for a baby. So I finished both of these, and I finished the little duties to go with them. Okay, so I did two of these, and both of these will be going to their new homes um, on Monday. So that's the, that one. And then I love doing these little booties because they're so easy, they're so simple to do. And there's, so yeah.
So that's everything that I've completed. All the ends are woven in. Guess what? Because I hate sewing, so it was like I just kept making stuff, making stuff, making stuff. And then when the bag was full, I took in um the end of the day, which was yesterday, um, sewing everything up. So yeah. And I got other projects I gotta work on. And um I just can't believe it. I don't know where those freaking glasses are. It's driving me nuts. I haven't worked on any art, but I have a uh project I need to do. My friend, she lost her badge and inside her badge case was um one of the small artist trading cars and I had I had a picture for her and she was more upset that she lost the picture than she was that she lost her her work badge. So um I'm supposed to be making another one for her. So I'll probably work on that later today after I finish my um plying for Twitter Fleece and then I gotta do my yardage and the weight of everything. So I should have been doing it as I go, but once I start spinning I just get in the zone and I just wanna spin. So um that's that's all that's going on with me and hopefully the video was okay. And uh that's it pretty much all that's going on right now. And uh, I will be doing another update. Hopefully, if not, I know it's, it's the summertime, guys. <laughs> so, yeah. And um, so hopefully I will be able to get another video in at the end of the week if I'll have the rest of that fiber applied up. And I can show it, show it to you guys. And then that's that. That'll be the, uh, today's the end of Tour de Feast. And, uh, yeah. So you guys take care and see you soon.